Hi, and welcome to another uh, edition of Claremont Calling. I'm Gordon Palmer, Minister at uh, Claremont Parish Church. Um, and this one's for uh, the end of April. I think it's going out on the 30th of April. And April this year, um, Bob was 80. Bob turned 80 this, uh, this month. How many times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see? How many cannonballs have to fly before they're forever banned? How many times... Have you said the Lord's Prayer? I bet the answer for most of us is blowing in the wind. Gosh, how often have we said the Lord's Prayer? And in the Lord's Prayer, we say, Thy kingdom come. So you've prayed that good blowing in the wind numbers of times. What do we mean by it? And, and, and is it something that we, we really mean and really want? Well, there's lots of ways we could explain or try to unpack the meaning of thy kingdom come. The kingdom of God is not a, a place like the United Kingdom. It's, it's where God is ruling. It's where we're following Jesus, giving him our loyalty. And the kingdom comes when more people are engaged in this task of following Jesus. And so we want to talk about thy kingdom come, and in particular, Thy Kingdom Come as the movement that's happening this year in, in May. It's a, an interdenominational, it's a worldwide emphasis on thinking about that prayer and what it means and also wanting to share the good news with others. Um, I'm just going to hear now a video extract from Krish Kandaya. Hope I'm pronouncing his name properly. I've um, seen it written down often enough and read his books. They're great. And so too is this little video extract. I stood nervously in the courtroom, a beautiful two-year-old girl fidgeting in my arms. She munched raisins and played with the ribbons on her dress as I waited impatiently for the verdict. Her curly blonde hair blatantly betrayed the fact that she did not share my DNA. But that did not matter to the judge, as he decreed from that day onward she would share everything that my family stood for. The judge stamped the paperwork, adopted. And that was the day I became her father forever. That was the day she took on my name, forever. We were ushering in a new phase of our family, together. When I read or say the Lord's Prayer, I notice the same connections. We pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. We say, your kingdom come. I believe that as we understand our adoption into God's family, we unlock something, the mystery and the majesty of this prayer. Seven years after I adopted my daughter, I found myself once again waiting a verdict. Another child needed to be welcomed permanently into my family. This time it was a four-year-old boy who had had the most difficult of starts in life. As a result, he often used to hide in the furthest corners of the house. He avoided other people at all costs. He hardly spoke. One afternoon, he suddenly appeared in the kitchen, silently holding up to me a toy car with a broken wheel. I fixed it for him and off he went to hide again. A couple of minutes later he returned offering me the vehicle broken again. I fixed it again. And again. After 10 or 12 occasions a guest in my house got a little exasperated and suggested that I should throw the car away. With a tear in my eye I explained that this broken car might just be the best thing that he owned. It was bringing us together. It was forging communication between a doctor and a adoptee. It was enabling him to begin to trust me as a father desperate for him to know love and care. When we pray, thy kingdom come, when we pray for our family, friends and neighbours to come to know Jesus Christ, we're offering up our broken world for God to fix. And as we pray, we're learning to trust the Father who has adopted us. We're ushering in a new family future together. We're embarking on an adoption adventure that will change the world. So why do you suppose Jesus included thy kingdom come in that prayer that he taught his followers? Is it because God wants the kingdom to come? Surely it is. So why doesn't God just do it then? Well, 
God works in the world through people, through his followers, through followers of Jesus. That's how he's chosen to, to make an impact on, on the world. And so we have a part to play in thy kingdom come. And so we're thinking with, as I say, many other denominations and, and churches throughout the world about thy kingdom come in the time between Ascension and Pentecost, which this year is between the 13th and the 23rd of May. So for Clement Folk, there's information about that in the prayer diaries and focus in the, in the prayer diary for May. We've also got a, uh, some information about Thy Kingdom Come um, in the edition of Clarion that's just coming out now. We've uh, There's also a, a website for the Thy Kingdom Come and the website details are, are on the screen here. But also we have this prayer journal and I've got a hundred of them and what I really don't want to do is put them in my blue bin over there. I'd much rather that they were used and that I don't have to throw them out come the end of May. So what's in this, this prayer journal? It's quite a simple little help for that period of time, 13th to the 23rd. Each day there's a few things to read, a prayer to offer, an invitation to make our own reflections, which we can write down if we want. But also we're asking folks not just to do this with yourself in focus, but up to five friends, families, neighbours, colleagues that you could pray for who do not yet love and, and follow Jesus. And it's a prayer for thy kingdom to come as more people take up the challenge to follow Jesus. So Jesus wants us to pray about that, doesn't he? That's why he gave us that prayer. This is what God wants. And it's what you've been praying for time and time and time and time and time and time again. And when you've said the Lord's Prayer, so the question is, do we mean it when we've prayed it? And do we really want it when we've prayed it? I know that God wants it. So let's join with them in this season, this opportunity to take it a bit further by joining with Christians throughout the world in the efforts of Thy Kingdom Come um, this May. So please get in touch with me for a copy of the prayer journal. Um, do give us a, a phone or an email or get in touch with the, the church office and we'll have them in your hands before the 13th of May. Thy Kingdom Come. Let's make it real.